Moo Moo, uh, this morning I saw something you're not going to like. What did you see? I'm afraid to tell you. Uh, since last time I told you about such a thing, uh, you got a little hysterical. Rita, don't be silly. There's nothing that you have seen that can make me hysterical. However strange it may be. Go on, tell me. As you wish. Moo Moo. Uh -huh. This morning in the woods, I... I saw a rat! What? Please help me! I told you you'd become hysterical. I'm not hysterical. I'm not hysterical. I'm not hysterical! I just felt like standing up. Are you sure you're not afraid to touch the ground? No, of course not. So then, if I made you touch the ground, nothing would happen to you? You wouldn't do that, would you? No, Rita, don't do that. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do it. Help me, please. A rat. See, I shouldn't have said anything, Moo Moo. It was only a rat and it was in the woods. You know we told them that you're afraid of them and to please not come out. It's been years since any rats have come around here. Uh. Come on, there's nothing here. Don't be silly. I have no intention of going anywhere. As you wish. I'm gonna have a snack with the others. Hello, Rita. What were all those screams that we heard? It was Moo Moo who got hysterical when I told her there was a rat in the woods. Oh! But you know very well that Moo Moo's afraid of rats. Why did you even mention it? I thought she wouldn't be afraid of them after so many years. Ow! 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 You know what? We need to do something so that she's no longer afraid of rats. Well, what can we do? We can do the following. We can transform the car into a rat and make it chase Moo Moo until she gets tired. So tired that she can't take it anymore. Then the rat car will slowly approach Moo Moo until Moo Moo just has to accept that she's no longer afraid of rats. That seems a bit cruel to me. Yeah, I know. You'll see how cool this is going to be. Let's see what happens. I'm tired of being on top of this slide for so long. I think I'd better get down now. But what happens if a rat comes? But on the other hand, it's been years since I've seen a rat. I think Rita just told me that to frighten me. I've decided. I'm getting off now.
Listen, Rat. If you plan on biting me, just do it. Just do it, but quit following me because I can't take another step. Wait just a minute. You've been following me this whole time and haven't done a thing to me. Well, what kind of rat are you? I thought you were going to bite me. Hello, Mumu. What are you doing on the ground? You're not going to believe this. There was a rat chasing me and I thought he was going to eat me. But when I stopped running, he didn't even touch me. So you are no longer afraid of rats? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> This is Skunk. What a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, good company. Yeah, I could spend hours here not doing a single thing. Oh, the fragrance of flowers, the freshly cut grass. Oh, this field is so relaxing. Yeah, it smells like a sea of flowers. It smells like strawberries, like lemons. Well, I smell... <clears throat> I smell... <clears throat> something stinky. Rita, why do you say that? Don't act so innocent. You could have told me about it sooner. Told you what? Come on, Moo Moo. We're the only ones here. It was smelling nice, and suddenly a stink bomb goes off. It's clear that you have let out some stinky air. Ugh! It does smell bad, but I didn't do it. Not only are you stinky, but you're also a liar. Rita, it wasn't me. So it's clear that the one who let out a stinky smell had to be you. Enough with the talk. It's smelling worse and worse, and it's becoming unbearable. Hello, good morning. Mrs. Skunk, excuse me, but are you the one who smells so bad? Well, pardon me, yes. Yes, it is me. I just can't help it. You could take a shower every morning. It wouldn't matter. I always smell like this. Well, I'm leaving. It smells awful. Yeah, me too. See you later. But it's not my fault. My whole life, everyone around me runs away and I don't have any friends. I have a terrible cold. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Skug. How are you? Beautiful day, isn't it? <sighs> I'm a little sad. You see, everyone runs away from me because of my smell. Well, you don't have to worry about me because I've got such a bad cold, my nose is all stuffed up. And I can't smell a thing, so we can go and play. You want to play with me? I've never played ball. Well, today's your lucky day. I will be right back with the ball. Hi, Boo Boo. Huh? <laughs> Hi, Milo. Do you know where the ball is? Yes, it's on the other side of the balcony. Who's he going to go play ball with? I don't know. Who are you going to play ball with? With Mrs. Skunk. But you can't. She smells bad. Yes, really foul smelling. She stinks. I know that. But since I got such a bad cold that can't smell anything, I'm going to go play with her. Yeah, but then later, you and the ball will smell bad too. When will you ever grow up, Moo Moo? But I'm just as tall as he is. He's talking about you being more mature and not such a child. Hmm, I want to go play ball too. That was a really great throw. You haven't seen a thing. Look how many times I can bounce the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. You're really good at bouncing the ball, Mrs. Skunk. I want to play with the ball, too. Yeah, but I don't think I can handle this smell. It smells awful. He's lucky that since he has a cold, he can't tell how bad Mrs. Skunk really smells. There is a way that we can all go play with the ball. There is no way I can handle that awful smell again. This is what we'll do. If we put clothespins on our noses, we won't be able to smell a thing. And that way we could play with Milo and Mrs. Skunk. What a great idea, Alfred. Uh-huh. But doesn't it hurt a lot to put something on your nose? Mine's really sensitive. You need to decide if you want to stay here all by yourself or come with us and play ball. Come on, Rita, I'll put your clothespin on. All right. Ouch! That really hurts! Now I'll put one on you, Boo Boo. Ouch! Yes, it does hurt. <laughs> what one has to do to play ball. Everyone got their clothespins? Hey there, friends. I see that you have changed your minds. Can we play with you guys? That would be up to Mrs. Skunk to decide. Well, of course you can. Everybody, come and play. Milo, thank you for playing with me. You have made me really happy. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, Moo Moo? I think I'm getting prettier every day. I don't know if it's my cute ears or my lovely neck that makes me the most beautiful giraffe in the valley. Uh, Rita, you're the only giraffe in the valley. That's why you're the most beautiful one. Have you noticed how pretty that lion is? With his amazing mane and green eyes, strong paws and cute bottom? And those sharp teeth. Hello, Mr. Lion. Psst, psst. Hello. He'll definitely say something to me. Hi, Lion. How are you doing today? He's completely ignoring us. But he's so cute that I'm gonna go talk to him. You have the most beautiful hair. Mind if I touch it? I already know I'm handsome. My hair is perfect. My eyes are like the sun. I'm the most beautiful animal in the universe. Um, how can you two stand being so, um, strange looking? Cow, you're too spongy. Your eyes are too far apart and your nose is, is, well, I can't even describe it. And you, long creature, where do you think you're going with such a neck and that coloring? I simply don't like it at all. Moo Moo, he was so mean to us. Do you think that my eyes are too far apart and that my nose is hideous? Of course not, Moo Moo. You're a very good looking cow. You have big, gorgeous eyes and a perfect nose. Why are you asking such a strange question, Moo Moo? A little while ago, Rita and I were walking by the lake when we saw a lion. It was a gorgeous lion. He had the most beautiful mane and eyes like the sun and beautiful fangs, and very white. He must brush them every day. So we went to go talk to him, and the reality was that he had no interest in us at all. But I don't know why. He started telling us we were ugly, and that our eyes were too far apart, and I had a neck that was too long. He was full of himself. This can't stay like this. We need to show that lion that he needs to treat everyone with respect and that it's wrong to say rude things about others. 
I've got it. Why don't we make him think he's a really ugly lion? That way, he'll learn that he can't go around making others feel bad. And how are we going to make that lion think he's ugly? Why don't we dress Alfred up as a lion and make him look really ugly? Yeah, yeah let's, let's do, do it. it! I'm sorry, but I don't intend on dressing up as anything. Come on, Alfred. Do it for the team. Well, don't count on me. Alfred, you look awesome. You need to go behind the waterfall. So when the lion sees his reflection, he'll think he's hideous. And the rest of us, we'll hide so the lion won't see us. Let's do a trial run, Alfred. When I look at myself in the water, get closer. Ready? One, two, three. That's great, Alfred. I'm sure this lion's going to have quite a scare. I'm so handsome. I'm so good looking. I'm so ugly. I'm handsome. I'm handsome. This can't be happening to me. All of a sudden, I'm ugly. I oh, must be hallucinating. No! That was great. Did you see the look on that arrogant lion's face? Milo, poor Mr. Lion. He's all upset now. We've got to go tell him the truth. Let's go, Moo Moo. We've got a lion to tame. Hello, Mr. Lion. I know you don't like me because of the ugly things I said to you before. I've always made fun of everyone, but now I'm like everyone else. Actually, Mr. Lion, you're still just as handsome as you've always been. And if you don't believe us, go take another look at your reflection in the water. I don't dare. I can't bear to look at that ugly face again. Go on, you may be handsome, but you're a coward. Look at yourself already. I'm still handsome! Thank you, girls. You've really cheered me up. I'm sorry for everything I said earlier. The truth is, I think you're both very pretty. <laughs> the lion has learned a very valuable lesson, that we all have beautiful qualities. Alfred uses few words, but says a lot. Milo has great ideas. Talala is clever. Mumu is so nice. And Olga is very pretty. And I'm the best of us all. <laughs> <laughs>